Ladies and gentlemen, boy oh boy am I scruffy, but boy oh boy do we have a session today. I'm going to be talking about all of the opportunities that the market provided today, and I want to talk about how we're utilizing our indicator to better take advantage of these opportunities. Now, as a reminder, guys, in the description, you can get access to this indicator by filling out the form and then getting access directly to your trading view. There's videos about this, by the way, in the playlist that's also available in the description. But today I want to talk about specific opportunities that are coming about every single day and show you guys my two-step system to passing or failing these setups so you know exactly if you're going to enter the trade. I got my nifty glasses on. Let's hit the charts. Let's go over there and talk about them. First things first, guys, I want to say that the official masterclass is available on my channel for using this indicator. So please go to this as your prerequisite. If you don't know how to use this yet, it's going to serve a place to learn how to use it, but also learn how to get it. Also learn the steps behind it, what makes it tick. I'll actually teach you what makes up the indicator, meaning I'll actually teach you the strategy behind the indicator because so many people make you rely on their technology versus knowing how it's used so you can better use it. And today what I want to do is I want to go through all these opportunities you see on the right of my screen and talk about my two-step system, very simple two-step system to determining if we enter a trade or not. So first of all, I want you guys to understand that everything on the right of my screen happened today. So this is all in one day. Imagine being able to get over 20 setups to your fingertips for free. And all you have to do is ask yourself two questions. Now the two questions are very simple and I'm going to tell them right now so that if you're advanced, you'll get them. And if you don't get them by the end of this video, you're going to understand them. The two questions are one, have we broken the Asian range? And that's with a wick or a body. Have we broken the Asian range? And number two, at the time of entry is a G be intact. Let me say it again. Number one, at the time of entry is AGB intact. And number two, have we broken the Asian range? So let's get started here on Aussie CAD today. The first setup that was called, and this was sent out at approximately 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time today on Aussie CAD. And we have to ask ourselves only two questions. Question number one, have we broken the Asian range? And of course, our, indicati our indicator makes it really easy to know if this is the case because it gives us blue lines and red lines. Now, if we're looking to buy, we are looking at blue lines. Have we broken the blue line? Yes or no? Certainly. We break it right here. You see that? That's a yes. And then step number two, at the time of entry, do we have AGB? Meaning is aqua, gray, blue in that order? Really simply put, is gray in the middle and aqua on the top when I'm buying and gray in the middle and aqua on bottom when I'm selling? So in this case, I'm buying. Look at this, A, G, B. So I get, yes, we broke, yes, A, G, B. Yes, you take that trade. Look at that, guys. Take profit one, which is the gray, is hit. Stops are moved to entry. Take profit two is hit. That is a one for one on the day. Here we go. Number two, the question is, have we broken right here, the red line? In the case of selling, we need to break the red line, not the blue. Have we broken the red line? Yes. At the time of selling, do we have AGB? A-G-B. Gray's in the middle, aqua's on the bottom for selling. Good, A-G-B. Yes and yes, two-step system. Take the trade, look at that thing go. It's almost to target number one as we speak. Two for two. Euro HKD, and by the way, I'm only showing you setups that actually sent a signal today through the indicator. I'm not showing you things that didn't send because there's no point. So I'm not cherry picking. Everything in here, we have losers in here. I'm showing you everything. Here is the third one that was sent today, Euro HKD. Question number one, did we break the Asian range? And in this case, you guys can see, if I zoom in here, the answer is no. The Asian range was never broken. Notice the blue line. The blue line in this blue shaded region is the Asian range. So you need to break it in the green shaded region. There's a big nugget there. You have to break it in the green shaded range. And at this point, the answer is, of course, no, you don't break it. So you get answered no means you don't take the trade. Even though this trade hit full target, we wouldn't have taken it because you got to break the bottom. Hopefully there's a learning moment in there for you guys. Let's keep it going. Euro try. Same thing on Euro try. Did we break the Asian range? Yes or no? The answer is no. Very simple. Again, our goal is to understand 
that we must break and we must have AGB, the two-step system. So we get no. So the first two are yes, the second two are no. Here we go, euro dollar. Here's another one. Did we break the Asian range? No. See it? Price never came back down. Even though it hits target, I don't care. My goal is to teach you guys how to follow the two steps. Doesn't work. There we go. Boom. We don't take the trade. Next one up. Here we are. France 40. New one. Some of you guys maybe trade it. Some of you guys maybe don't. Did we break the Asian range? Absolutely. Here's the blue line. We broke the bottom. Good. Step one is passed. Step two. At the time of entry, do we have AGB? Uh-oh. We have G. A, B. Aqua's in the middle. What did I just mention? We need gray in the middle. So no, we get a no on the second step. Remember, at the time of entry, you've got to have A, G, B. In this case, it's buying, so aqua needs to be on top. Gray needs to be in middle. And blue needs to be on bottom. Up next, GBP, S, G, D. Now this one, oh boy, was at an entertaining trade. And uh, I talked about this earlier today on a different call with some students and I want to share it with you guys because of how phenomenal this was. This, did it break the Asian range? Yes. You see the blue line? It did. Why? Because we have a wick right here. That is a break. A break could be a break, meaning a candle closure or a wick. But here's what's cool about this trade. It goes, it enters at the time of entry. Do we have AGB? Yes. A, G, B. So you would have entered this trade passing the two steps. It hits target number one, which by the way is the gray box. At the time of the gray box being hit, stop loss is moved to entry. The market pulls back and it stops them out. So you're like, ah man, we're out of the trade. Well, no, not necessarily. There's always a second opportunity. Every single trade, you guys learn this in the master class, has an opportunity as what's called an advanced entry. To do that, I'm going to grab my horizontal ray tool and I'm gonna put it where my stop loss was. And the advanced entry is very simple. If the market comes back down to the level of the stop loss, which is this pink line right there, it does not break it, but it wicks it. And then it shifts up again, which means the cross of the yellow and the red EMA. That is a secondary entry. And look at this opportunity. At the time it comes down, it does not break the stop loss level. It only wicks. That's check number one. And then boom, right here, it shifts. Stop loss below the low. Target number one at a one to one, as you guys can see, it would have already hit the target number one and target number two is at, of course, one to two. But once it hits the one to one, you move stops to break even, meaning this trade is now break even. So you get a break even here with target number one hit. And then now we're target number one hit break even here. We'll see if it gets stopped or if it hits full target again, massive teaching moment because we create an opportunity out of a secondary opportunity in this setup. Keeping it going, here's pound dollar. Now this one almost did the same thing, but didn't quite get there. As you guys can see, here is the blue. We break the blue, step number one is passed. At the time of entry, do we have AGB? Yes, we have A, G, B, good. The market then goes, does not hit target number one at the gray. So stops remain open, meaning stop loss does not get moved. Market pulls back, does not hit stop loss and then rolls. This is just a classic setup. There's no advanced entry here. It's just, it passes our two steps. It hits target. Again, I'll stop for just a minute, guys. If you guys are looking at this indicator saying, man, I want this indicator. I want it to send me an alert. I want it to tell me long entry. And then all I got to do is look for two steps and then do my own due diligence. I want to do that. If you're saying that's you, go to the description of this video and fill out the form. There's instructions on how to do it on the form, but fill out the form and you will have this added to your trading view. You must have a trading view account. You must put in your actual email address to get it. And then I will communicate with you via email as well. When I put out new training videos and all sorts of good stuff, again, go fill it out in the description. Continuing on, we've got New Zealand CAD on this one. Did we break the blue line? Yes, of course we did. We broke it. The step number two at the time of entry, do we have AGB? No, we have gray, aqua, blue. Again, aqua's in the middle. You don't want that. What do you want in the middle? The gray. You always want aqua, gray, blue when you're buying, aqua being on the top when you're buying, and you want aqua on the bottom, gray in the middle and blue on top when you're selling. So we get no on this one. Moving on. NZD, HKD. Here's another one. Look at this guy. Blue line, 
Is the Asian range low? We break it. Good. Step one is passed. At the time of entry, do we have AGB? AGB. Another winner. Target hit. Pass the two steps. Moving on. New Zealand dollar. Look at this one. Boom. At the time of entry, or uh, no, sorry, not at the time of entry, uh, Asian range low. Does it get broken? Yes. Boom. At the time of entry, A, G, B. Good. Target hit. <laughs> two steps passed. How easy is this? US 2000. Now, again, I told you guys I'm not cherry picking anything. This is every opportunity that happened today. So I know you guys probably are looking for a one that hit stops. Yes, we had one right here. Here is the low on, on the Rust 2000 right here. We broke the low. Good. At the time of entry, A, G, B. Boom, you enter the trade and stop loss gets hit just shortly thereafter. Yes, this thing loses. No strategy is perfect. The point is our full target is always a one to two risk to reward ratio. So that makes it that all those targets that you've watched being hit today are going to supersede one loss here. If we're risking 2%, our reward is minimum 4%. That's exactly what we want because we can lose more we win than st and still make money. Moving on, US 30. Another loser. Now here's the unique thing about US 30. Where do you put your pink line? At the stop loss level. Look what happened. It provided a secondary entry. It provided an opportunity. Take a look. AGB. We broke the blue. Two steps passed, you entered the trade. It gets stopped out, but you always put a line at your stop loss level. And if it wicks and does not break and then reshifts like it did, guess what? This became right there, a secondary opportunity with a stop loss. Right here was a one to one target. Stop loss is then moved up and then one to two is way up here and target full target was hit earlier today on US 30, another opportunity with an advanced entry. Moving on, here's dollar Swiss, same thing on a currency pair, dollar Swiss selling, we break the high, good. AGB, good. Then where's the stop loss? It gets hit, you get stopped, but look what happens, advanced entry, again, providing you another opportunity. In this case, you're looking to sell, you wait for the cross of the five and the 13 EMA, this one unfortunately had a long candle, so it makes oops, it makes it uh, a little bit harder on a risk reward side. But nevertheless, there would have been your entry. Here would have been your stops, and of course, your goal is a one to one on your target. You can see one to one is there. Roll the stops, and then of course, one to two is going to be way down here, and it hasn't hit just yet. But again, another opportunity. So several of these lost, yes, but they provided secondary advanced entries. The only one that lost pure out and didn't have a secondary advanced entry that we've gone through so far today is of course US Russell 2000 because you can see at the level of the stop loss, you would have put that line there and you would have said, oh, it broke it. Can't touch it now. You would have been done. Let's keep it moving here. USD CZK. Here's another loser. Again, I'm not cherry picking. Does it pass the steps? No. See? Why doesn't it pass the steps? There's the high. At the time of entry, had we passed the high yet? No. We had AGB, but we had not ever passed the high. We didn't pass the high till right here. That's after the trade's over. There was no trade on USD, CZK. It does not pass our steps. Again, you must pass the high or the low, depending on buying or selling. And then you must have AGB. Those are the two steps that you must follow every single trade. Let's get another one in here. How about this one? A winner. Would you have entered this trade? No. Why? Because the high is here. We did not pass it before entry. Yes, we had AGB, but we did not pass it. I don't care if it wins. I don't care if it loses. I care to show you the two steps. Let's do another one. Dollar yen. How about this one? Would you have entered? Does it pass the steps? Well, step one, did it pass the high? Yes, look it, it passes the red line. Step two, at the time of entry, do we have AGB? Yes, A, G, B. Look at that, another one. Go, 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 go. How about this, guys? We're going fast. You guys are getting action packed. Hopefully you're learning. Here's another one, USD and OK. We passed the highs, good. At the time of entry, do we have AGB? Yes, AGB, another one, another one, USD PLN. And again, this is all in one day, guys. This isn't in a week, this is all today. Here's another one, look at that. You break the high, see it? The red line, we broke the high. At the time of entry, do I have AGB? A, G, B, good, enter trade, target hit. 
Guys, how much simpler can it get? Last one, USD SEK. Would you have entered it? No. Why wouldn't you have entered it? Well, at the time of entry, which is right here, we had not yet exceeded the high. You had AGB, but you didn't exceed the high yet, so it didn't pass the two steps. However, I must say, for those of you guys that want a little bonus points, what is this? Another advanced entry. Why? Because you still notch, even if you don't break the high, you notch the high of the Asian range. Because if you wick to it and then you shift, it's an advanced entry. And look what you got. Another advanced entry. So yes, this could have been. You wouldn't have taken the first one. You would have only taken the second one. And another example of what could have been an advanced entry, easy one to two target hit, no problems at all you guys can see right there. In fact, this one ran much further. Not that I ever hold that that long, but this one was at least a one to four. So there you have it, guys. We are going through this really fast, but I really just wanted to shove out some content for you guys to understand how I'm currently using this system. Again, this is a completely free indicator. There's no hidden agenda. Everybody in the comment section, type down below if you've been using this indicator, how you've been enjoying it. As always, guys, if you can, get this video to 200 likes for more content just like this. And don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications on future training videos. We'll see you on the next video.